Okay, boys and girls, last week we talked about this word forms. We practiced creating lots of different types of forms in our sketchbook, such as cylinders, cubes and rectangular prisms, cones and pyramids, and spheres and ellipses. So we're going to use this idea of drawing forms to create a larger work of art today. My example here that I'm going to show you is my example of my science lab. In my science lab drawing, I'm using lots of different types of forms to show this idea of a new science lab design. So I'm thinking like a designer and I'm creating a new science lab using forms. So in my drawing here, I have a lot of cylinders for these mixing beakers, um, what a scientist might use to mix up some potions and some experiments. So I'm using lots of different types of sizes of cylinders for that. Also in my work of art, I have different types of forms as well. Um, I have a half sphere here for the lamp. Um, I have some really long cylinders for these mixing tubes and then some other forms as well. So your goal is to create a work of art, a scene that uses at least six different forms and you're showing either a science lab or a video game. So let me show you what I mean by those two things. In your sketchbook last week, if you had time, I asked you to use these forms to come up with a drawing. So I showed you how I could make machines or robots or different things that might be in a science lab by just putting my forms together, different types of forms. So this was great practice. Now you're gonna take this idea and make a big work of art out of it. So how are we going to start here? We are going to start with our pencil and a big sheet of white paper and our forms worksheet next to our big sheet of white paper. The first thing we're going to start with is that theme called a ground line that we practiced in our sketchbook today. So we always are going to start with a big line that goes from left to right in our work of art. And this is how we're gonna break up our space between where the objects are going to sit and the background space around the objects. So everybody's gonna start first with their ground line. Now in your work of art, you're gonna try and sketch out a scene. So remember how I said either a science lab or a video game. This is my example of my science lab. So in my science lab, I can use cylinders to make these little mixing beakers. Remember, cylinders have a round oval top, two straight lines and a curvy bottom. I can put some details on these, like some lines for measurement. One, two, three. And I can keep making different sizes of these cylinders. Some tall, some curvy, some skinny, some short. And that could be my first type of form, cylinders. So, so far I have one, two, three, four cylinders right here on the ground line. So I'm gonna sketch all those out with my pencil first. Now, what else could I add to this work of art? In a science lab, I have to think of some more forms that I can put in here, at least six different forms. So I think maybe I will start with a cube and I can use this cube, maybe like a fish tank. Maybe in my science lab, this scientist would like to do lots of different types of experiments using different types of environments like um, a water environment. So maybe we'll have some fish in there and some ocean plants to see how they react in our science lab. So that's another form that I have, a cube. Maybe I could have a mixing bowl to mix up some chemicals and some experiments. So I could use that form, the half sphere, to create a mixing bowl. So I'm gonna keep sketching out all these ideas. I can even add some details that aren't formed. So maybe I can just add like a notepad for the scientist to take some notes on, or a pencil, or some goggles here, some science lab goggles, and I can keep adding those details. Maybe some bubbles coming from the science experiments. So when I think I have at least six forms and I have lots of details in here, I've taken my time on this, I've really filled my space, then we're gonna practice something called outlining. You are going to take your black Sharpie marker at your table and you are gonna go over every single line that you made. So for example, this cylinder, I'm gonna go very carefully and very slow around every single line I made. And the reason why is because we really want these lines to stand out nice and clear and dark so that when we add color later, we can really see our lines. So every single line I made, I'm not gonna forget about these little tiny bubbles. I'm not gonna forget about the little lines on the beakers. I'm not gonna forget about the lamp in the background. Every single line is outlined. So I'm gonna work on that. You can see in my final work of art, 
every line has a dark black outline. That's because when we add color, we don't want any of these lines to disappear. We want them to really stand out underneath the color. Okay, so there's my science lab example. Now, what if you wanna do something different? What if you don't wanna do the science lab with the robots and the machines and the mixing beakers? What if you wanna do something like a video game? So I can think of my own idea that I can use my forms for, especially if last week in my sketchbook, I thought of my own idea. I can use this idea and make it bigger. So this is my example of my video game. Now I'm still having to use six different forms and a ground line and I have to fill my space, but I can use a different scene than a science lab. So look at my video game example. Here's my character and he's made up of lots of different cubes. So a cube for the head, some rectangular prisms for the body, legs and arms. Up in the background here, there's some little cubes to show the different things that you can earn in your video game, like a boost or an extra life. Uh, maybe his power is that he has to shoot these little cones out of his hand to get the boost and the extra life. So here's some more forms. In my background space, maybe there are some areas where he has to jump up so I can make some cubes and rectangular prisms for that. Maybe there's some portals that he can go in and get to a different level of the game so he could go down these cylinders. So I can fill up my space just in a different way than my science lab. So there's many different options that you can go with, but most people are probably gonna go with either the science lab or the video game. So remember, once everything is sketched out, I have to go over this with my marker very carefully and I have to outline every single line that I made no matter what picture I'm creating. So most of your time today is gonna to be sketching with pencil and once you've sketched everything, then outlining with your marker.